Hey guys, Zach Uack here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I will be teaching you all about textures and decals in Roblox Studio. They are very interesting to learn about and they can really add some cool things into your game. So first, open up Roblox Studio. And if you're not familiar with Roblox Studio, be sure to check out my channel because I have a lot of cool Roblox Studio tutorials, especially for beginners. So let's start with the basics. A texture is basically an image that you can put on a part or a union in Roblox Studio and it repeats horizontally and vertically in a pattern like so. Now a decal on the other hand stretches to fit the part like so. So first to make a decal or texture you need to upload an image that you want to use. To upload go to view and then click asset manager. Then you will have to save your game if you haven't already. I have, so it doesn't show me a message. Then click images. So as you can see, I've already uploaded an image. To upload, click this button, bulk import, and choose an image from your files. Now let's go back to our part and add a deep and add the decal on a face. To do this, just add a part. I'm going to make it a wedge. Resize it to whatever you want. So I'm going to try to make this image look like cheese. Now go to your part, select the plus icon, and click a decal. Now you can see an orange outline here. Move your cursor like so to the side you want your decal to be on. I'm going to select it right here. Oops. Or you can change it in the side in the menu right here. Just select the face where you want it to be. Now go to texture and select the image you want. As you can see, now it is over here on our part. Now I'm going to add this decal to all of the sides. To do this, you need to add one texture for each side. There you go, now our wedge looks a little bit like cheese. Also, you can go to your decal, go to color, and select any color. This will tint your image. You can also change the transparency here to make it less visible. Now, let's learn how to use textures. To upload an image, you do the same thing as a decal, but textures have a lot more customizability. So let's add this blue circle texture onto our box. First, let's learn how to choose the amount of times a texture repeats. This can be done using the studs per tile U and studs per tile V properties. They determine the size of each tile in studs. Studs per tile U determines the texture's horizontal size. While studs per tile V determines the texture's vertical size. Also, offset studs U and offset studs V determines the offset of the tiles.
Okay, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any Roblox Studio videos. And comment down below any ideas or questions you have. See you in my next video. Bye.